One of the things that all filmmakers or video editors need is a good pair of noise cancelling headphones or ANC, active noise cancelling headphones. Why do we need them? Well, it's just easier to edit video when you don't have any of that ambient noise around you distracting you from the content that you're editing. I myself have been editing with just plain AirPods and it can be good sometimes just because they're so inconspicuous, but every now and then I just, I need to get into the edit and ANC headphones is where it's at. Downside, they're pretty expensive. So today we're gonna take a look at a really inexpensive pair from Vankyo and it's these, it's the C, I had to read it there, C751 headphones from Vankyo. Now, full disclosure, they did send them out to me, but I figured that with video editing being sort of one of the main focuses of this channel, it made sense to get them on it and have a look at them. So, let's take a look. So these are the Bankio C751 ANC headphones. And right off the bat, let's go through the price because they are super affordable at $90 Canadian. So you're gonna look at a little bit less American. For that, you do get just a pair of over-ear ANC headphones. So they don't rest on the ear, they do sit over your ear. And you get a fair bit for the price. So let's go through that. So you get this little carrying case. It's this sort of nylon, Honestly, it's a, just, it's a pretty cheap carrying case, but it comes with one, which is really, really good. And it's one of those more compact ones because these ones fold up into themselves. So they end up being this nice little, tight little package, which is good. I know some just sort of like the cups fold flat and you end up with this big round disc. So that's kind of cool. And in your little carrying case, opens up and you get some instructions to use. They're pretty self-explanatory and cables, which aren't in here, one sec and some cables. So we get a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack splitter, good for traveling, pretty cool that it comes with this. I know not every single over the ear headphone comes with these these days, so awesome for when we start traveling again, if that happens. You also get a standard wired cable, so you can use these wired if you want to, don't have to use them Bluetooth, and you get a charging cable, which is USB-C, which is what everything should be now. You do not get a, a wall brick, like a wall wart to plug in, Let's just, we all pretty much have them these days. So that's pretty cool. You get all the cables and then the headphones themselves. So the headphones themselves, as far as I can tell, are made out of plastic and some sort of like faux leather material. So build quality look, is to be expected from a pair of headphones this cheap. The one thing I don't like about them is this, this sort of folding mechanism. There's no, if you can hear this, hang on. There's no real like snapping into place. They sort of just fold in and then fold out. So they just sort of flimsily sort of fold back in on themselves. I've had other more expensive headphones and by more expensive, we're talking like $250, $300. They do have more of a snapping mechanism. It feels a bit more secure, but at this price point it's to be expected. What wasn't to be expected, however, was how comfortable these are. I've been using pretty much like the Bose Studio, not the Bose, so I've been using the Beats Studio 3s um, uh, for the longest time and I always thought they were okay, but I got ear fatigue after a while and that's just because of the way the cups were. They're a bit too round. They sort of rested on the earlobe a little bit. These ones are actually really, really comfortable. This top headband here is super plush, like is super soft. The faux leather material is just awesome. It really fits really quite nicely on the top there. And the ear cups themselves are made of the exact same material. It's super soft and plush and I've been wearing, I've worn these for like five hours on end and not a single issue. And what's really nice is the cups do sort of rotate. So if you can see that there. So you can sort of have them on your head and adjust them as per what you need, which is really, really cool. They have this sort of like weird texture on the side here. Sounds kind of cool if you like that sort of thing. Um, scratch is real easy, but looks kind of, I guess helps it look a little bit more premium than what they are. Uh, the only real branding you get is on this sort of like plastic little thing here, which says Vankyo. And other than that, they're pretty clean pair of headphones. The one thing I didn't like though is knowing which one was left and right. 
Um, I know that with the ones that I had, they had like an L and an R on the ear cups here. These ones, it's like really well hidden. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to get that. We're not even gonna try, but it's really well hidden. So the buttons are sort of where this kind of falls apart. I really don't like it. So there's no real distinct on off button. It is actually the Bluetooth toggle. So I'll turn it, so it's currently turned off and it doesn't even have like an indicator which way is on or off, but it's down is off, up is on, and I'll turn it on. Power on. There you go. And then it goes straight into pairing mode instantly and it pairs really, really quick, which is awesome. But then like when you turn it off, there's no audio, like audio feedback, it just turns the LED off. And then you've got a few buttons like pick up and play, which is all just one button, that's fine. It's a tiny little button, but it's right at the bottom, so it's pretty easy to get. It's the skip forward and backwards buttons that I hate. It is skip forward and backwards as a single press. And then volume up and down is a long hold. To me, it makes more sense for it to be the other way around. I find that I turn my volume up and down more than I skip tracks. That could just be me, but it's annoying that it's kind of all in the same sort of button mechanism. So like if you don't press it down long enough to turn the volume up, you're gonna skip your track, vice versa. So that's sort of annoying. But I guess, you know, you kind of want to keep the buttons as minimal as possible. So, but it would have been cool if they had like a little disc thing here to turn the volume up and down, but $90, what can you say? The next button is just the ANC. Again, there's no indication as to, or LED, whether or not it's like on or off. It's just down the bottom here. And look, it's fine. Up is on, down is off. It's not the most, it's not the strongest active noise cancellation I've experienced, but it's pretty good. Good enough if you just want a really cheap pair of headphones to just edit video with. I think these are a really good choice. They will be linked down in the description below if you do want to check them out. Honestly, if you're just worried about spending too much money on a pair of headphones, really good value. In fact, I'm just going to sell my Beats because I think these just do the trick. Audio quality is going to be really hard to sort of demonstrate on YouTube because I don't have a proper like mic set up for you to sort of experience it. All I'll say is that the highs and mids are really, really well controlled and don't distort too much. It doesn't have a lot of bass coming from the beats they have they're just bass heavy not so much with these but they're really good in general and honestly just editing video with them i find they're good enough i have made a few phone calls on them because they do have a microphone down the bottom here and look no one i didn't tell anyone that's what i was wearing but you know they had no complaints so you can make phone calls with them so that's pretty much it for these guys it's the bank c 751s linked in the description honestly a pretty good pair of noise cancelling headphones for under $100. So, you know, if you don't wanna invest in a really good pair, at least right now, really good to get you started at the very least. Honestly, I'm really surprised. Comfort-wise, comfort they are right up there with the best of the best. Sound quality-wise, look, that's where you're gonna lose out, I guess. They're not too bad. And build quality, they're not fantastic, but they're not terrible either. So yeah, if you wanna check them out, hit the link in the description below. That's it for this video, guys. If you wanna see more from this channel, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more content. And yeah, see ya.